My story begins about this time of the year, 17 years ago. I was new to the area. Our family had just moved here from Florida, and I had a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a newborn preemie. I decided to sign the big kids up for the library program at St. Cloud Library, and I was thinking, this will be about 30 minutes of quiet time for mommy. It was the first day. I had my Diet Coke in one hand. I had a magazine in another, which is what we used to use before Pinterest. And my baby was in the stroller napping like a trooper. All of a sudden, I heard somebody say, Hi, my name is Kim. I'm new to the area and I'm looking for friends. And I was honestly thinking, Oh, dear God, please have her not be talking to me. I looked up from my magazine and realized she was, in fact, talking to me. She reintroduced herself, I reluctantly introduced myself, and she went on to say again how awesome it would be if we just got connected, our kids were going to be here anyway, we were going to be coming here every week, we might as well get to know each other, right? While she was talking, I was smiling, but the voice inside my head was going a mile a minute. You've got to be kidding me. I have a Diet Coke, I have a magazine, my baby is sleeping, I have everything I need here in my own little introverted world. But at the same time, she seemed nice enough and she clearly needed a friendly face and a little conversation. At this point, I think I was practicing the art of availability, but honestly, I didn't realize that at the time. I was just being nice. So our friendship started. What I soon realized is that Kim was one step ahead of me. She knew she had a need. What I didn't know or what I wasn't willing to fully embrace was that I too had a need. Isn't it interesting that sometimes we just don't even know what we need? But God knew. He not only provided me with a friend, he provided me with a solid Christian friendship that is well on its way to do two decades of memories. I think on many occasions how blessed I am that God has woven this beautiful friendship between the two of us and our families. He put a crazy, extroverted person like Kim into my fly under the radar, try not to be noticed life. Honestly, it made me so uncomfortable, right up until it didn't. Right up until he showed me what a gift this friendship is. Kim and I have been friends for 17 years. We've come alongside each other in good times and in bad, the toddler years, the potty training years, the teen years, death of parents, school changes, job changes, and weight changes. We have even led to here together at mom's one year. We are friends that can hold each other accountable and encourage each other through life's ups and downs. Both of us as young moms, new to the area all those years ago, with no extended family close by, we established some traditions. We go to different churches, yet worship together every Christmas and spend the day together with our families. We also spend the 4th of July together with our families. It's just part of who we are. And this year, we have the blessing to be traveling together with our families to the Ivory Coast to share God's word with the Ivorians. What if Kim would have never introduced herself? What if I would have never responded? We are so thankful that we both took action and so thankful that God was in the mix. God in the midst of our friendship has really made us better together. Enjoy your morning.